Thousands in Spain and Morocco stage protests against the massacre of refugees in Malila. At least 37 African refugees were killed in Malila on June 24th when security forces opened fire on them. The figure was confirmed by the NGO Walking Borders. Moroccan authorities, however, claimed that 23 had died in a stampede. None of these bodies were identified or went through an autopsy before they were buried by the authorities. Along with Spanish forces, Moroccan forces also participated in this operation. The incident came days before the NATO summit was held in Madrid from June 28th to June 30th. Where is Malila? Malila along with Ceuta are Spanish colonial enclaves on the North African coast. The two port towns are surrounded by sea on one side and Morocco on their land borders. Spain's sovereignty over Ceuta and Malila is not recognized by most African countries, including Morocco, with the cities are known as occupied Septa and Malila. This is not the first incident of such brutal violence against refugees in these cities, though it is the largest in scale. Malila and Ceuta are the only European territories in mainland Africa, the only land borders between Africa and Europe. Thousands of migrants regularly attempt to cross this border and reach European territory, including many who are seeking asylum. However, this crossing has become more and more militarized over the years. It consists of multiple rows of barbed wire fences, motion-activated sensors, patrols on both sides by security forces, long-range thermal imaging cameras and various other deterrents. Yet, refugees continue attempting to scale these obstacles, putting their lives at risk, trying to escape persecution or poverty conditions in their home countries. These conditions are often a result of the policies of the same global north nations, which do everything in their power to keep the migrants from entering their territory. Why did Moroccan forces join Spain in attacking the refugees? On June 24th, Moroccan security forces reportedly crossed the European border into Malila to assist the Spanish police in stopping the refugees from reaching the migrant center where they can apply for asylum. Clips and pictures that emerged after the joint Spanish-Moroccan operation showed dozens of brutalized bodies. In the past, Morocco has not always cooperated with Spain in curbing the flow of refugees. In fact, it has given easy passage to them in order to pressurize Spain and Europe for its various objectives. This attitude has changed in recent times after Spain recognized Morocco's occupation of Western Sahara. Morocco is also keen on proving its worth since it takes millions to guard the European border. Even though Morocco claims the territories of Malila and Ceuta belong to it, the country has now become more of an ally to Spain than its adversary. The incident occurred just days before the NATO summit. Morocco had multiple incentives for its actions on the eve of the NATO summit. Not only does guarding European borders bring the country millions in euros, but it also helps bolster Morocco's privileged position as the new ally of the European Union. A position that has been sanctified by the US after Morocco's normalization of diplomatic relations with Israel. For the Spanish government, a key agenda in this NATO summit was to turn Ceuta and Malila into NATO protectorates. Spain's aggressive position is being seen as an obsession with preventing African refugees from entering the country. In effect, Spain has relinquished its sovereign border management and essentially declared that its southern borders are not Spanish borders, but European borders, which should be guarded by NATO. Before the summit, NATO's largest member, the US, indicated its willingness to indulge the European obsession with the migration from Africa only if Europe tows the American line on the Eastern Front against Russia and China. Of course, Spain's position on refugees from the southern flank is vastly different than for refugees coming from the eastern flank. Most of the victims in the June 24th violence were fleeing from the wars in Sudan, South Sudan, Chad and Niger. While they were clearly unwelcome, not long before this, Spain welcomed more than 124,000 Ukrainians fleeing Russia's invasion in an unprecedented act of solidarity. This discrimination can only be described as racist.